Here we are predicting whether a compound is ionic or molecular. So when we try to define ionic and molecular compounds, we can use this very simple general definition. Typically, when we have metal atoms and nonmetal atoms, that describes an ionic compound. When we have all nonmetal atoms, describes a molecular compound. Now this gets more complex and we can even uh, ask ourselves, well, what about with the metalloids, etc.? cetera? Uh, but for a general definition that will serve uh, just fine for these problems, we, we will just use this. Okay, so let's look at this first compound. It's a simple binary compound. I have two elements present, phosphorus and sulfur. Phosphorus is a nonmetal. Sulfur is a nonmetal. So I only have nonmetal elements present. That would mean I have a molecular compound. Here, HClO4. You may recognize ClO4 as a polyatomic ion, but it doesn't matter. Let's look at the elements present. Hydrogen is one of those exceptions. It's the only nonmetal found on the left side of the periodic table where the metals are, but it is still a nonmetal. Chlorine is a nonmetal, and so is oxygen. So again, we have a molecular compound. Here we have BABr2, barium bromide. Barium is a metal, a group 2A metal. Bromine is a nonmetal. So when we have metal and nonmetal atoms, we consider that compound, compound to be an ionic compound. 